In order to be able to 3D print our files, we have to go through a number of post-processing steps, which we will partly do in a third-party software called MeshLab. MeshLab is a freeware program that you can find on the internet at the following location. MeshLab.SoundForge.net Here you'll find the download link. Click the link, follow the install procedure to install the software so that we can use it. I've already done this, so I'm going to skip this step. Like I mentioned before, we have to go through a number of steps. The first one being to export our native RSD format into a, a compatible format. In this case, I will be using OBJ. I open the builder and open my scan. There we go, the Buddha we have scanned earlier. To export it into OBJ, we go to export model, type the name, select the type you want to use for export. I'm using OBJ and press save. S exporting to OBJ will take longer than saving a file due to the additional data that the OBJ format needs. There we go. We're done. We can now close our builder software and move to MeshLab. Open MeshLab. Import the mesh, which I've placed on my desktop. So press to my desktop. And there we are. There is our exported file. Wait for MeshLab to open the file. The problem with 3D printing is that the, the, there are several holes in the scan, as you can see here at the top and the bottom. These have to be closed before the object can be printed. To do this, we have the close hole function, but it's best before we use this to clean up the mesh a little bit and making sure that it runs better. For this, we use merge close vertices, use the, the default settings, press apply, filter will run as you can see at the bottom it's completed close the window now we can close the holes since these scans are rather large and these holes are rather large we do need to have a fairly large number and I typically turn these off because I found out that it will not always close all the gaps if you leave them on Press apply, filter will run, this has been completed, and as you can see now, the top and the bottom of the scan are nicely closed. You can close this window. Since there might be some vertices created that are very close, it is good practice to clean up your mesh again. Press apply, press close. And there we are, we have a clean mesh that is ready for printing. For 3D printing, you will need to export your file to a compatible format for your printer. To do this, you use the function export mesh as, and select the appropriate format, in this case, STL save press ok and we are done your file is now ready to be imported into your 3d printing software 